Welcome back to the channel, Kim from Kim Side Money Plans. Tonight I am going to do a DoorDash night. I already started off, in my opinion, pretty darn good. It started off with a $9.75 one item shop and pay, and then DoorDash came right back with a $40 stacked order shop and pay. It should be interesting because the second one I've never shopped before. It's a new grocery store that I have absolutely no experience in. So hopefully they have some really good aisle numbers or direction. And if not, this could be a disastrous shop. But I'm about ready to go into the one supermarket and then I'll go to the second one. So let's go and get this done. Let's go get $40 and who knows? Who knows? No aisle numbers can be a little tricky when you're shopping for 35 items. I'm just saying, but you know what? I got it done. Let's get these delivered and let's go get our $40. That shopping order took way longer than what I really wanted it to. Ugh. So not the shopping took long. First drop off was like 10 minutes away and then the next one, I had to cross over the bridge and the bridge was up to let a boat through. So it backed up traffic so much and it, it just took me forever. So anyway. The destination is on your left. Order is done <laughs> is the bottom line. And then I quickly moved on to a really quick and small order and I am working on that right now. So I'm gonna go get this done literally under a mile, so let's just bang it out. Last order, I was right, quick and easy. This order is hopefully gonna be the same exact thing. I just got the alert, it was ready for pickup. I'm gonna run in, go get it, get this delivered, and move on to the next one. So, last drop off, you, get, you gotta love people sometimes. Get to the house. No lights on, pitch black, whatever. So I'm going to do the delivery and I put it, I'm about ready to put it down. The guy opened the door and it's like, oh, you're here. I guess I should have turned the light on. I'm like, you think? What goes through people's minds? I swear to God. Captain Obvious right there. Anyway, done. Moving on. I'm shopping again. This time, I don't know why DoorDash doesn't use like items and units. So it's 18 units, but 12 items. So I'm shopping for 12 items, basically what it comes down to. So shopping, here I come again. Let's go get it done. get this. I shopped it really easy at checkout. I am about ready. I scanned my last item. I'm about ready to scan the QR code and DoorDash comes through with an add-on shopping order. Okay, great. I take it. Literally, it says that it's nine items. It's two items. Once again, units versus items. It's two items, but nine units. So I go to go back to scanning the QR code. Do you believe that because I took the second shopping order, DoorDash wanted me to shop those items before I can continue to finish my checkout? So thank God it's later at night and they weren't busy. I had to call over the girl and explain. She goes, I don't understand. So I had to explain it. Luckily she goes, just leave everything here go get your items and come back and finish. So thank God she allowed me to do that. If not, they would have had to avoid out the transaction. I would have had to shop for the items, come back, and then ring up both of the orders. God, how stupid. 
stupid is that? How do you not let someone who's at checkout and is physically checking something out not finish their checkout? Annoying. <laughs> anyway, I'm on my way with both orders and uh, DoorDash, you gotta solve that problem. I'm sure it's just that there's a system, whatever you wanna call it, that's not driving when they add on an order to another shopping order, but if you're in the middle of it, it is not good. <laughs> Going. Delivery. Okay, so get this. You can't make this up. Go to do my first drop off. I am literally getting the bags in my hand and another order comes in. So my double becomes a triple. Fantastic. This time it's 825 plus, but I have to kind of backtrack to where I was to go pick up this order and then the two drop-offs are together so so crazy so my $15 one order somehow became a triple and it's now $32 without the plus I don't even know what the plus is gonna be but I'll take $32 any day of the week you can keep coming keep them coming okay interesting enough I was about ready to do the next drop off and they tried to give me a fourth order. Now, here it is. I didn't like the area that it was going to. I didn't like the items versus dollar amount, so I actually declined it. I probably, I feel like I probably could have kept going on a DoorDash roll and, um, now with like a fourth order, but I'm like, nope, declined. So I start making my way back and then I get this order right here, which is, it, to me, this is definitely a better shop all the way around. A couple of less items, not by much, but by mileage wise, it's better. By area wise, it's better. So I think I made the right decision. So I'm about ready to go in. I'm gonna shop this, get this delivered, and that's it for tonight. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me. I'll see you in the next video. Remember, kindness is always free. Bye everyone.